Well, hello, it's episode 24, and how's everybody doing in YouTube land? It's a raise day, as we're going to take a look at the 2,000 tops raised cards. Um, I'm flying solo here today, so we're going to show off the 2,000 set of the team. Um, and there was a lot of moving parts with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays at that time in 2000. They made a lot of moves, big splashes, hired or signed some big names. They were going to actually make a move. Vince Namoli was opening up his uh, wallet. Um, because they had two dismal seasons the first two years. So the third year, let's make a big impact, apparently, is what they said. Um, December 13th um, of 1999, the Rays signed Greg Vaughn to a four-year deal. And he actually came and played very hard here and uh, uh, kind of fell short in the end. And then that same day, we also traded with the Colorado Rockies. And we got Vinny Castilla to play third base. We traded... Um, was it Aaron Ledesma, who was a utility infielder, and slips my mind who the other person was. Um, um, uh, Arroyo, the pitcher that we had, our opening day pitcher, Fernando Arroyo, um, who was actually, I believe, the first Ray that was signed. But we made a big splash. We made a big splash in the pitching front. We signed Juan Guzman. Yep, Juan Guzman with his 91 victories. Um, we paid him $12 million to come pitch here which uh, for Vince was kind of crazy. And we also signed Steve Traxel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. So big names were coming in. We got Gerald Williams to come and play center field because Quentin McCracken was hurt a lot. And uh, Quentin McCracken uh, left that year. And we also signed, no one's going to remember this, Carlos Bayerga was signed as a Tampa Bay Devil Ray. And um, with the big names going around, there was a lot of excitement and a lot of buzz here, if I remember correct, about 2000. Um, unfortunately, uh, Carlos Baerga, while he was signed in February, he, as a free agent, his contract was voided in uh, March. He didn't play in 2000 at all. He didn't play in 2001 at all. And I believe he came back and played for a couple more years. Uh, but the Rays, or the Devil Rays at that time, had another horrible year. Um, in the middle of the year, we signed from the Houston Astros, a local boy here, Dwight Gooden. Um, he came in, I believe he pitched one game and was done. And then um, we also started to dismantle the team in 2000. Uh, was proving to be another horrendous year. But as far as the Rays, who made it to the Tops 2000, um, series. We have uh, Roberto Hernandez, who is always, always steady out of the bullpen. Pitched for us uh, from 98 to 2000, so he pitched for us three years. He got 101 saves with us. Something I didn't realize when I was looking into this, he also pitched for the Royals. I don't remember that. The Braves, the Phillies, um, the Reds, the Pirates, the Dodgers, the Indians, um, the White Sox. He was all over the place. But he was always solid and a fan favorite down here. We also have Andrew Beinbrink. He never played for the Rays. Um, then we had our fourth round draft pick from 1998, Josh Presley. Um, he left baseball in 2013. He bounced around the minors a lot, played a lot of independent uh, league baseball, um, never played for the Rays. So obviously spring training shot here. Um, we had Wade Boggs, um, who was our third baseman. Again, he initially came here. He's a local Tampa guy. Um, and I'm going to say it one more time, his number 12 should not be retired for the Rays. Um, he, granted, he's a Hall of Famer, had great careers with the Yankees and the Red Sox. He had 210 hits and 9 home runs with the Rays. Shouldn't be retired. My opinion. Um, then we also have Mr. Rocco Baldelli, who came out and uh, uh, played some center field. Um, this is his rookie here. He played seven years, uh, six with the Rays. I believe he played with the uh, Red Sox also. He was a, a coach here, field coordinator, bench coach. A lot of things. Uh, has a great job now. He's the Twins' new manager. So best of luck. Um, he also They also just brought C.J. Crone up to the Twins yesterday, I believe he signed. So that's good. Um, so they're getting all of our first basemen. Uh, Logan Morrison, now C.J. Crone. So I guess Jake Bowers, you're going to wear a Twins jersey at some time in the future. Um, the catcher for the Rays in 2000 was Flash. Mr. John Flaherty, solid behind the plate. Um, he left here a, after five years. 
Um, so he still played a little bit more. And in those five years, he did get three stolen bases. That's pretty cool. Um, also, DH, Paul Sorrento, roamed right field a little bit, played DH. He had better years with the Mariners and Indians and Twins than he had here. Um, as we know, the manager of the Nationals, Dave Martinez, our starting day uh, right fielder. And then he followed. He was also a bench coach here with uh, Madden, and he's been following Madden around ever since. Um, we've got Bubba Trammell, big promise power hitter. Never panned out. I'm um, also in center field, and he had a decent, decent career with the Mariners after he left us, and also good here um, was Randy Wynn. Um, he was our center fielder for a couple years. Um, good guy, and um, had a really solid career. And our second baseman, Miguel Cairo, and this was where some of the dismantling started. Um, he was released by the Rays in 2000. He was actually a fan favorite here, released, and I believe the Oakland A's picked him up after that. And he played many years with a lot of different teams and a lot of good teams. So he had a decent career. Um, Wilson Alvarez, one of our starting pitchers. Um, he actually was the only left-hander in the game to have allowed fewer hits than innings pitched since 1993, I believe it was. Um, also, an outfielder we picked up was Jose Guillen. He played 14 leagues in the big, 14 years in the big leagues. He was a solid player, and uh, at this point in the early 2000s, you come to the Rays. Being a solid player means you're going to have a horrible year, and he had a bad couple of years with the Rays, and then moved on and had a decent career. Um, Ryan Roop, starting pitcher, uh, never really panned out to uh, live up to his promise. And then we have uh, one of the prospect cards with three different players on it. Um, the Ray, the Tampa Bay Devil Ray is in the middle there. Aubrey Huff, who had a really good career here, also went on to be solid for the Giants and the Astros. But he was one of our stars for a few years. Um, and like a lot of the stars that are young guys here, we become the farm system. And he uh, kind of priced himself out and left. Um, another uh, Josh Hamilton card. Um, this is a before he started playing again, but um, we all know his troubles that he had. Um, and then we have, let me look on here, a couple of Wade Boggs cards, uh, some highlight cards. Third baseman for the Rays, getting his 3,000th hit. A buddy of mine was actually at that game. There's a uh, outfield seat in right field that is yellow because of his 3,000th hit. Um, another 20th century best here card. And a Wade Boggs milestone card also came out that year uh, when he got the 3,000th hit. Um, again, number 12 should not be retired. And then there's the big four. We've got Vinny Castilla, Jose Canseco, Greg Vaughn, and Fred McGriff. Again, they were labeled the hit show. So in December of 1999, when these four gentlemen were put together... We were supposed to be looking at well over 100 home runs with them, especially playing in our um, Tropicana Dome. And again, it never really panned out. In the opening series against the Twins, Fred McGriff hit a Grand Slam home run. Steve Traxel pitched a shutout game, I believe. And everybody was going crazy that these signings were doing wonderful. Out of all these, Greg Vaughn had the best year. By the end of 2000, Jose Canseco was gone. He was a, then a New York Yankee. At this point, he had left. I mean, I also believe it was 2000 that he was part of a really funny play against the Rays as a Yankee. Um, I believe he was on second base and Tino Martinez, or Tino Martinez was on second and he was on third, but there was a hit to the outfield and the ball was thrown in and Mike DeFelice, who was the backup catcher, tagged out Canseco and also tagged out Martinez on the same play because Martinez was almost going to lap Canseco. So... That was a funny play, but the Big Four, the hit show, and they even appeared on the cover of a Baseball Weekly in 2000, um, was a big deal that kind of flopped. And speaking of big deals that flopped that year, there is also a Juan Guzman card. $12 million this gentleman signed for. He pitched one and a third inning. So his record for the Rays was 0-1. He pitched one and a third inning. Um, his ERA wasn't that bad though. It was 43.20. So 
Great investment for $12 million. Granted, he never pitched again. Um, he was just a little bit better than Dwight Gooden. No, actually, Dwight Gooden was a little bit better than him that year for the Rays. So with that, I hope you all have a great day. Um, that's the 2000 Rays. Um, some funny little stories and other things. So until next time, peace and raise up.